In today's video, we'll be going over questions in regards to moving along a polygonal path. The first problem is, what is the value of s, which yields the coordinate point 3, 3? Well, the first thing we need to know is that s is equal to the line length. All right, so now let's look at the given graph and let's label it. So it says 3, 3, so 3 is right about right here and 3 on the y-axis is right here. So if we look at that, we have this B point right there. So then we want to know the value of S. So the value of S is basically the distance traveled to get to this coordinate point. Well, we can see that we have this line from O to A and this line from A to B in order to get to our coordinate point of 3, 3. So the first step we want to really do is to do Pythagorean theorem. So let's solve for the length of O to A. So we can see we have an X distance of two and we go up three. So we have two squared plus three squared equals S squared. And so then we have four plus nine equals S squared and S is just this for segment. So we have 13 equals S squared, take the square root of both sides. So we know that S equals the square root of 13. So we can label that on our graph. Now we need to find S or the line length from A to B. And we can see from A to B, we really don't have a triangle. We don't have anything to do Pythagorean theorem with. We can just see that we traveled from two to three. Three minus two is one. We traveled a distance of one. And even though we might not need it, let's also get the length from B to C or our last line segment right here. Well, we went from three to four. It is a triangle type shape if we did this. And now what we're going to do, since we went from 3 to 4, we traveled 1 on our x, so we have 1 squared. We're going to do Pythagorean theorem again. So we have 1 squared plus the distance, or the change, in our y value, which is from 3 to 4, which is again 1 squared. That means 1 plus 1 equals 2, and we know 2 equals s squared, s equals the square root of 2. This means b to c has a distance of square root of 2. So now let's get back to our question, which is, what is the value of s? which yields coordinate point of 3, comma 3. 3, comma 3, as we know, is right here. And we can see we first traveled square root of 13, then we traveled 1. And you can add to get your s value. So we have square root of 13 plus 1 gets us to a coordinate point of 3, comma 3 right here. Now let's go to our next question, which is x parentheses square root of 13. Well, you might be asking, what does this mean? Well, this is basically telling you this x in front is saying that you want to get the x coordinate x coordinate after traveling a distance of square root of 13 distance traveled all right well you can also look at it as x comma s or if it's looking for the y coordinate instead of the x coordinate it could be y comma s so now let's go ahead and do this particular problem well, we already have a line segment of square root of 13, which is pretty easy for us. And we want to know the x-coordinate after we traveled. So we keep going, going. We just traveled to square root of 13 at a. So let's get the coordinate point for a. Well, the coordinate point for a is 2, comma, 3, because we have a 2 here. And then our y value is 3, so it's 2, comma, 3. But remember, it's asking for x-coordinate. And the x-coordinate from 2, comma, 3 is 2 meaning the answer to number two is two. Now let's go ahead and do number three. Number three says, what is the x-coordinate? It's the same format as number two. Number three says, what is the x-coordinate after traveling a distance of three? Well, unfortunately, we don't have a line segment of distance three. Well, in this type of scenario, we have a type of equation or base equation that we're going to use. This base equation is line length, line length, known, over wanted length, or wanted distance of travel, wanted length, equals x slash y coordinate, so x or y coordinate, uh, remember x or y coordinate we could find, x or y coordinate of known length, and I'll explain this equation in just a bit, of known length, over over our wanted x slash y value. 
All right, so now it might look a little interesting, but the line length known. So let's say, um, I'm gonna give the example for number three. Well, for number three, it asks a distance of three, right? Now we're gonna look at the line segments we already have, that we already predetermined in our graph. Well, we have the square root of 13 and one, right? Well, the square root of 13 is in between three and four, right? So we're in between three and we wanted to find a distance of three, but we're not exactly at three. Well, the wanted length is three. So we're gonna find the known line length, which is the square root of 13, that's what we know from our graph, over the wanted, which is this S in the parentheses. So you could say this is S, sorry, this is a different color. So let's say this is S in question. This is S from graph. So you're getting the known line segment in the graph. And so now that we know three is in between square root of 13 and four, we know that the answer or the distance traveled of three is you know somewhere in between this first line segment, but we don't know exactly where. So now let's set it up as we're going. So we have the line length known, and we said that's the square root of 13. So we have the square root of 13 over our wanted length, which is the S in the question, which is three equals, and now we're on our right side. Well, it says X or Y coordinate of known length. So our question is asking for the X coordinate and we determine how we know it's X coordinate up here. So we know it's the X coordinate. So we're gonna look at our known length and our known length was the square root of 13, which came from our graph. So we look at the X coordinate at that segment. Well, we know it's two, right? So equals two. And if it was Y coordinate, it would have been three but we are doing the x coordinate over our wanted x or y value. Well, the wanted x or, no, or y value is x, right? So that's what we're solving for. We're gonna put an x right here. Well, now you can just look at it and say, hey, we need to do cross multiplication. Well, all right. So now we do cross multiplication means we do two times three, which is six and divided by square root of 13, square root of 13, and this equals x. So now, our answer to number three is six over square root of 13. This is the equation which you are going to use in order to proportion and solve this type of problem. We're gonna apply the same logic to number four. Number four says, what is the y value after traveling a distance of s, which equals two? So now, instead of x, we're doing the y value. So our line length known. So since it wants us to travel a distance of two, we know that square root of 13 is around 3.6, which is above two. So this first line segment, O to A, is from zero to 3.6 in length, or our S value. Well, we know that our equation says our line length known, and now we know it's square root of 13 from our graph, over our wanted length. Our wanted length is two. So let's do over two equals our X or Y coordinate of known length. Well, our question's asking for a y coordinate, so we're gonna look at the y coordinate at square root of 13. Well, the y coordinate at square root of 13 is three. So square root of 13 over two equals three over, and this is our unknown variable in our denominator, which is asking the wanted x or y value, and that's y, so y. This is really similar to number three, as you can see. So now let's get rid of these extra arrows, and we're just gonna do cross multiplication. Well, again, we have six over the square root of 13 equals y. So now we know that after traveling a distance of two, the y value is gonna be six over square root of 13. And then number three, we knew that after traveling a distance of three, our x coordinate is gonna be six over square root of 13. And those are our answers for three and four. Let's do one more problem similar to this and we're gonna apply the same logic to that problem. Well, our first question for problem number two asks, what value of s yields the coordinate point two comma one? Well, if we look at our graph, we know that two comma one is at point B, and we wanna know the s yield. Well, that means we have to do Pythagorean theorem again. So let's do Pythagorean theorem for O to A to find that length. Well, we know it travels from zero, right here, let's get a different color. So you're going from zero to one, so that's a distance of one, so we have one, Oh my goodness. We have a one squared plus 
a distance or a change in our y value from 0 to 3. So 3 squared equals s squared. Well, that's 9 plus 1, which equals 10. And we know now 10 equals s squared, meaning s equals the square root of 10, meaning our first value or the length of the line segment from O to A is square root of 10. Next, we have to go from A to B. Well, A to B, we're going to get Pythagorean theorem again. So we went from 1 to 2, and then we have to get the change in our y, for just from 3 to 1. So from 1 to 2, we did 1, so we have 1 squared plus 3 to 1 is 2. So we went from 3 to 1 from A to B. So that is 2, so we have 2 squared. So we have 1 plus 4. 4 plus 1 equals 5, which equals s squared. And we know s equals the square root of 5. And now we know from a to b, the line segment length is the square root of 5. Let's also find b to c, just in case we need it later in the problem. Well, from b to c, we went from 2 to 4, which is 2. So we have 2 squared already. Plus, and we have no change in our y. It's just a flat line. We have stayed at 1 in our y value for the whole time. So we're going to have 0 squared equals s squared. Well, 4, 2 squared is 4, equals s squared, b to c equals 2, because you take the square root of both sides, so we have square root of 4 equals s, s equals 2, b to c equals a length of 2. Well, now getting back to our question, it says, was the s value at the coordinate 2, 1? Well, 2, 2, 1, we already traveled the square root of 10, then we also traveled the square root of 5, so we're adding those two segments together, and that is the distance traveled. So we have the square root of 10 plus the square root of 5. Well, now let's move all this Pythagorean theorem work down. And let's go ahead and do question number 2, which says, what value of s yields the coordinate point 3, 1? Well, we know that 3 is right here, and the y value 1 is right here. So let's just erase these straight marks. So, since we are at 3, 1, right about here, we want to know the s value traveled. Well, we already traveled square root of 10. Let's do it in different color. We already traveled the square root of 10 right here. Then we went square root of 5. And then we need to find this missing value. Well, we already know. Let's write it what we know. We have square root of 10 plus the square root of 5 plus something to get us right here. Well, from this b to c, we said it's 2, right? And we know that our total distance in our x traveled from b to c was from 2 to 4, which is 2. So this travel distance is 2. And we can obviously see that 3 is in between 2 and 4, meaning we traveled a distance of 1, meaning we add 1 right here. So we traveled the square root of 10 plus the square root of 5 plus 1 in order to get a coordinate point of 3, 1. And that is our answer for number 2. Now we are back to this proportion type of question for number 3, which says, what is the x coordinate after traveling a distance of square root of 10? for your s. So now to start this question, what we're going to do is we're going to try to find where did we travel square root of 10. Well, we travel square root of 10 right here. Fortunately, it is one of our line segments. So we don't have to do the proportion because we can see, hey, we travel square root of 10. Our x value is this. This is 1. 1 is our answer. But if you did want to do the proportion, just in case to get more practice, we travel square root of 10. So this is our known length, known length over our wanted length. Wanted length is the one in the question, which is square root of 10 as well, equals our, this is, we're looking for x coordinate, so the x coordinate at our known length. So x coordinate and our known length is 1, so square root of 10. So we have 1 over x. So simple math. Well, if you really look at it, we know square root of 10 over square root of 10. This is just 1, which equals 1 over x. x equals 1. 1 over 1 equals 1. And that is our answer. So that's how you would do it if you wanted to do it with the proportions. So now let's go on to number four. Well, number four asks, after traveling a distance of three, what is your x coordinate? Here we have to do a proportion. Well, square root of 10 equals 3.16, which is above three, meaning that square root of 10 is about from three to four. So we're going to use square root of 10 as our known length. So we have our known length, square root of 10, over our wanted length of three, over 3 equals our known, and we're looking for x coordinate, so our known x coordinate at square root of 10, which we said was 1, equals 1 over x. So we do cross multiplication, then divide. So we have 1 times 3 over the square root of 10, which is 3 over the square root of 10, 
equals x, and that is essentially your answer. Another way you could do it is, if you do 3 over the square root of 10, you get 0 0.948. Well, we can obviously see that this rounds up to 1, and that would technically be your answer of the x-coordinate at, at 3. Because if you really look at it, 3 is about right here. So it's really close to 1, but it isn't exactly at 1. So this fraction would be much more accurate. Well, now let's go to number five, and we can move our work once again, just to make it a little more cleaner. Let's move it to the side. So our last question for this video asks, what is the y-coordinate after traveling a distance of two? Well, we're getting y-coordinate, we want a distance of two. And we said that square root of 10 equals, we said square root of 10 equals 3.16. And we know that our first segment is square root of 10, meaning from O to A, we travel 3.16, meaning we traveled from 0 to 3.16. This means that our known length is square root of 10 over our wanted length of 2 equals the y-coordinate at square root of 10. If you look on our graph, at square root of 10, we have a y-coordinate of 3, so it equals 3 over x. So we have 6 over the square root of 10, and because we did 3 times 2, divided by that, 3 times 2 over square root of 10 which means 6 over the square root of 10, and that is our answer. The y-coordinate after traveling a distance of 2 equals 6 over the square root of 10. So let's just box our answers, and the fractions are much more accurate, which is why we went with those. I really hope this video helped, and if you believe it did, I would greatly appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Also, we did create an Instagram account for future updates and future videos. You could also DM me on Instagram if you wanted a video request. I will also be posting whenever we upload a video. So I greatly appreciate a follow there. The link to the Instagram is in the description box below. Remember to hit the bell icon for future video updates. Thank you very much.